What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some pretty solid content, man. It's pretty much how to make 100,000 MT a day. We're going to get into this video. Um, not 100K MT a day. I would say about 100K MT every hour. So we're going to go over the methods in this video. Drop the like. Drop the sub, man. It will be greatly appreciated. We're also doing a huge MT giveaway on Twitter with my boy, Young Simba. So make sure to go drop the follow on Twitter. Um, go like up, tag three friends on that post. You will see it. It's probably one of my most recent tweets. And yeah, guys, we're going to go over a lot of things in this video. How to make a lot of MT pretty much every hour. So let's get into some methods I like to go over. So I just want to check out this card real quick. But uh, here we go, man. Let's talk about this. Um, triple threat online. Okay. Is this method good? All right. You know what? We're actually going to hop into a game and I'm going to show you what reward I do get. It really does depend on what you do get. So let's get into a pretty good method. I would say you can make up to 50,000 MT minimum per hour, at least 40,000 minimum per hour. So this method right here is pretty good. It really depends what you get on boards. You get some really good on consumables. So you got lucky in packs. Um, you could possibly get the opals on the board. You could even get lucky in mystery packs. So right now, man, TTO is definitely a very good way to make MT. Um, right there, man, we have a three ball drop. So we're going to get at least 1,000 MT per the drop, per, plus the game. So that's another 1,500 MT. So I would say about every time you win, you're going to make a minimum of 2,000 MT. So let's say you get 10 wins per hour. That's 20K. That's not even counting anything else. That's not counting any, um, what's it called? It's not counting any packs. That's not counting any diamond consumables you get. It's not counting any opals you get. So minimum, minimum 20,000 MT per. That's so minimum. That's so minimum. And also, you get a ton of tokens for this. So definitely a very good way to get tokens. Definitely a very good way to get MT as well. So as you guys can see, I'm getting a ton of ball drops. Got about a little, a minimum of 2,000 MT off here. And then if we get the pack, man, we're going to show you what we get in this pack. That's probably another 1,000 MT. So maybe even 3,000 MT per TTO game, guys. You can get upwards, I would say, two to 20,000 to 100,000. It really depends what you get in the packs. Depends what ovals you pull, like I said. So TTO is definitely one of the best methods. I would say I have three methods. We're going to go over them as well. Um, other methods, I would say, is mostly about market crash, mostly about opal snipes. It really depends. So we got a pretty good amount of MT right there. We didn't get no packs, but here we go. We got, actually, no, we got one of the packs. So we got a multi-dimensional pack. And then uh, we got an emerald there. So probably going to make about a 1,000 off that pack if you sell everything out. And then we also... Oh, have this mystery pack in which you're going to get a minimum of a shoe, which is about 250 MT. Unless you do pull a galaxy oval. So here we go. We got the mystery pack. Here is a bronze shoe. So that's 250 MT, 1,000 from the pack, 1,000 from the drops, about 500 for the win. That's about 3,500 to 4,000 MT off one game. So that's one way you could do it. Let's get into some other ways you could, guys can make a lot of MT. So we're going to talk about the opal snipe filter. We're going to talk about some snipe filters and whatnot in this because... You can make a lot of MT off snipe filters, guys. Especially this Galaxy Opal one. This has been going off for a very, very long time, man. Galaxy Opal snipe filter, very good one right here. I would say the lowest tier Galaxy Opal. You get a ton of Galaxy Opals for this price. I've seen snipes of Galaxy Opals for 500 MT and whatnot. So I'm saying 27,000 MT on this Galaxy Opal snipe filter, man. That's all you need. Um, you just continue to refresh like this. You don't even have to move any of the bids. And then, yeah, your tokens will go up. Your MT will go up. I would say you could probably get at least two snipes per hour, which is going to guarantee you around at least 60,000 MT an hour. So I'm going to say about 100,000 MT per hour if you hop on this for 30 minutes and then play TTO per, uh, every time. That's also a very good way. Uh, we're going to show you some other snipe filters, and I'm going to give you a really good tip to make more MT without snipe filters and whatnot. Pretty much just investing in whatnot to make a lot of MT. I would say per day on this next one, not really per hour. But yeah, this is a very good snipe filter, man. Definitely try it out. I'm going to go over two other snipe filters that I think are very deadly. You do need about 200,000 MT for these. But um, yeah, we're going to go over them, man. Galaxy Oval Thunder. You definitely need Ga you need Kevin Durant. I mean, you need Gary Payton and Sean Kemp to enable this filter out. So once you do that, man, you get Prime KD. You have a possibility of getting Prime KD, that KD, uh, out of position KD, and Rashad Lewis. 
which is about 1.5 mil snipe. So definitely buy out the Sean Kemp, buy out the Peyton, then you want to put your minimum buy out there and then press enable. That's pretty much the way to do that filter. So this filter is going to run you around, uh, you need Kemp for around 60k and Peyton for around 30 something. So right there, man, that's under that's about a 90,000 MT right there to possibly make upwards of 200,000 to 1.6 mil. So that's night filter, man. Very good night filter. We're going to go into one more. Um, this one's going to make you a minimum of 100,000 if you do snipe out a card. So Prime Series 3, man. There's Paul George. There's Kawhi. There's Luka. There's Lamar Odom. Um, if you snipe on this, guys, it's going to be OP. Also, when Prime Super Packs do come out, this filter is going to be even better. So here's another tip for you guys. This filter is going to be money, um, especially when Prime Super Packs come out. And when new prime stop does drop you're gonna see a lot of 100k of these cards prime cards aren't really in tto but there is definitely other ways you guys could get them you can make a lot of mt off this yourself um definitely a very good snipe builder so now let's go over the big method the way i've made millions of mt off this method is how i made all my mt and i'm gonna go over it specifically it makes the most sense it's mostly all prime cards but there's a lot of cards you can look over so here it is man it's simple so you need a lot of MT to make MT. So I'm talking you need at least 100,000 MT to do this, I would say. Maybe even 200,000 MT to do this. So here's how you do it. Let's go over it specifically. So my best way to make MT. I already made over 300,000 MT in about 30 minutes of playing the game. And here's how, man. It's off the prime cards, guys. It's simple. Um, you guys don't remember Friday. Um, prime cards were going for an all-time low, okay? So what I did... I picked up Kawhi, I picked up two Lamar Odoms, I picked up Luka Doncic, and I also picked up two Paul Georges. Why did I do so? So here we go, let's go over it. So as you can see, Kawhi's at 430. He was at 380,000 MT not too long ago. So I picked him up for 380, now he's 430k MT. He's going to be even more. He's going to be about probably 480k minimum. So that's one. Next up, man, if you guys don't know, I post all these on my Twitter. So you can go check them out if you don't believe me. Lamar Odom, man, got him for 165k. He's rocking around 230k. That's $40,000 profit just for getting a bid. So 40k profit minimum um, right there. That's a huge W. As you can see, there's not that many on the auction, guys. They're kind of going down in price. I mean, they're, they're going to rise in price because there's not that many in the auction. Um, people are probably trying to price fix this car. So that's another one. Next card, guys. Paul George made so much money off this card. I got him for 345k. Post is on Twitter. He's 400k with 13 minutes left. He's 406k with 18 minutes left. This card is worth 500,000 MT, guys. So right there, another method. Market crashes on Thursday, Friday, whenever they drop that big content. Huge method. Also, man, off the market crash. There's a lot to go over. So we also got Bill Russell for 90,000 MT. Ended up selling him for 120k off the market crash. Why did I think he's going to go up, man? Because he's in a very good set. He's an out-of-position set, in which Jonathan Isaac is one of the best point guards in the game. So, very good. Prices are high. You're going to make a lot of MT off these cards. So, that's another one I made MT off. Another one, man. Colonel Lenko going for around 50K. Now, he's around almost 80,000 MT. So, here's another one. Out-of-position, uh, Andre Colonel Lenko. Very good card for very cheap. Very, very good card. Almost one of the best power forwards in the game, man. He's freaking 70K, 80K. There's another one, man. Another one, guys. Kevin Durant. If you guys get him at 800,000 MT on Thursday or Friday, he's pretty much now price fixed. We're going for almost a million MT again. So um, if you guys want, if you guys don't know, always the best card in the set that's going for a mil usually does get price fixed. That's why I will not sell this LaMelo. I got him for around 1 mil MT when he was going for like 1.3. Now he's almost, he's going to be at like 1.1 mil. This card most likely is going to get price fixed, even though there is a ton of the auction. But we're also talking about Galaxy Oval Zion. Galaxy Oval Zion is one of the most hype beast cards of all time. So talking about Galaxy Oval Zion, not only that, I did get this card with shoes and contracts on it. Um, very good way to make MT. Also, man, out of position. This whole set, man, you could have made a lot of MT off this. If you picked up Giannis price fix, you're going to make a lot of MT off that. So pretty much, man, how to make a lot of MT. It's really just knowing the market and taking advantage of the market crash. Pretty much. The market crash on Friday, every single card was dirt cheap. I'm going to go over another card that, uh, not Eddie Johnson, Eddie Jones, that did go up in value because of the market crash. Uh, after the market crash, I usually like selling my cards Sunday or Saturday. It's probably the best day to sell. And that's probably the best way to make MT in my opinion. So Eddie Jones, man, 47,000 MT with a contract and a shoe. That, yeah, it's gone. That was a freaking snipe. I wish I had the MT to buy it. 
So as you can see, yo, I want the MT for that, man. So as you can see, man, 47K Eddie Jones. That's the only one posted. This guy, I got him for 40,000 MT. And now he's going for around 70,000 MT, guys. So this card right here, 47,000 MT, man, is a huge snipe. And I don't have the MT to buy it. So 69K, man. I got two of these guys for 40K. They're up even more. So as you guys can see, the market crash is real deal, guys. Market crash means a lot. You make a lot of MT off the market crash. I probably made over 500,000 MT. And I'm also waiting for my prime cards to rise even more. But yeah, guys, that's really all we got for the video. Just spreading some nonsense. If you guys want to buy or sell MT, make sure you hit me up on Twitter and Instagram as well. And yeah, guys, that's all we got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop the like, drop the sub if you're new. Have a good one, guys. Peace.